All right, so Brother Superstar O has just released a new VST instrument, and we're gonna check it out today. And uh, I'm actually a big fan of Superstar O, so this should be a decent VST. Let's go ahead and check it out today. Bolo! All right, before we get started, make sure you guys go ahead and pick up not just my drum kits, but go ahead and get Superstar O's drum kits as well. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to, of course, my drum kits, and I'm gonna leave Superstar O's website so you can go ahead and get his drum kits as well. We need to support each other a little bit more on here. I think it'll be cool if you guys went ahead and picked up drum kits from both of our sites. And of course, you know the kits are gonna be dope either way. So go ahead and click the links in the description right now. And also, if you guys are looking for some new equipment, go ahead and click my link in the description and go to zounds.com. But make sure you guys click my link. On Zounds, you can go ahead and get a whole bunch of stuff on Zounds with no credit or background check, and you can just pay it off over time. Now, it's not everything on the site, but it is a ton of stuff on the site. And if it says no credit or background check, you can go ahead and get it. They'll send it over to you, and then you can just pay it off over time. And of course, you have to supply them with a debit or credit card so they can pull the money out every single month. And you're gonna have to give them a little bit of personal information, but that's it. You better jump on that. So go ahead and click the link in my description right now and go to zounds.com and get some equipment right now. Click the link right now. First off, shout out to Superstar O for getting that major placement with NLE Chopper. It's crazy because I was actually supposed to be down there for the Timberland Beat Club meetup and I was down in Miami that whole week and I left, I think, the day it started. It's crazy. That's crazy. But shout out to Superstar O. You deserve it, brother. And I'm glad that you got it. But today we're going to be doing a review on his new VST instrument. And he actually handcrafted this uh, VST instrument using his own synthesizers and sounds and stuff like that. And he has a ton of effects and everything in it. Oh, and did I forget to mention? It's only $40. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up and see how it looks and see how it sounds. So let's check it out right now. Okay, so we're now in Studio One right now. Let's go ahead and open up the Starlight VST. Let's go ahead and just drag this in here. Um, it's a very interesting looking VST. It has a little moving screen and stuff on here. Seems pretty cool, man. I can tell you put some time into it to try to at least get the GUI looking good. Now, one thing I did notice on here is when I am using the knobs and stuff on here, it's not as smooth. So as you guys can see, the knob, it's, it's moving, but it's like, it's not as smooth as like some other VSTs, but everything works good. The reverb stuff works good. The delay stuff works good. Even if you want to add your glides and filters and stuff like that, your panning, everything works good so far as the effect side. Now, I will say this. You do have to follow the instructions when using this, okay? So he actually has a video inside of the folder once you download it. He shows you exactly how to install the presets and everything like that. Just make sure you follow the instructions before using this. Let's go ahead and go through a few sounds. Let's try to build like a really quick track. I can't go through all the sounds, but I'm gonna try to go through a few of them just so you guys can see what this thing sounds like. And uh, he actually sent over another expansion, which he has an expansion with the factory expansion, which it comes with the 150 sounds. And he actually sent over a Planet Hardware expansion that has the Phantom Montage Moog Poly Brew and Prophet 6, and these are sounds that he curated himself. So we might use some of the factory sounds and we might use some of the uh, Planet Hardware sounds as well. Let's go ahead and go to the factory sounds. Of course, I like to use like some leads and stuff. Um, he has some arps in here too. That's a pretty dope. So that sounded pretty good. Let's see how this one sounds. Got some arps in there. Let's see this. Uh, let's see this bass right here. It says "Go to Sub" right here. What is this? Ooh, that's dope. Zero waste. What is this? What's this Yeezy? That's not bad. Let's see if we can just find something to make something really quick. Let's see what we got for keys right here. Oh, that's different. Okay, and let's try to make something really cool real quick here. That's cool. That's actually kind of cool. I think the feedback is a little bit long on there. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this feedback down. Let's see how it sounds now. Yeah. So that's, that's actually pretty cool. So now 
let's see how this thing works with RAM, CPU uses and everything like that. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this and let's go ahead and duplicate track complete. And uh, let's go ahead and just take that off for right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to find like some leads and stuff like that to go on top of that. Let's go into leads and see what he got in here that might be cool. <laughs> All right, so we found a little lead in here. Let's go ahead and add that in there real quick. That's actually pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and add another one in here. And yeah, let's see what we got in here. Let's go back to our factory. All right, so now that we got those in there, let's see what else we can add in here. Oh, you can always add like a flute, right? Okay, let's see what we got. Hmm. Let's see what we can do in here, hold on. Don't sound too bad that don't sound too bad let's go and add a little bit of percussion in here real quick let's go and use my x-factor kit and uh yeah let's go and add some hi-hats in here all right now we got those in there let's add a little clap in there and let's see how that one sounds sounds good enough let's go ahead and add that in there too bad don't sound too bad let's go ahead and add an 808 sounds good to me let's add that 808 in here real quick let's go ahead and make that a mono and then let's do this uh as a one shot Sounded pretty good. Now let's go ahead and add another starlight in here. Let's go into the uh, Planet Hardware Bank. I like the Polybrute. Let's see what they got in the Polybrute real quick. Well, that's different. All right, so I found a pretty dope uh, sound. It's called the Led Zeppelin. It's in the uh, Planet Hardware sound expansion, and it's in the Polybrute section. So this seems pretty dope. Let's go ahead and add this in here and just try to make something, you know, sound cool, I guess. Not bad. All right, so there it is. I made something really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and play this beat back for you really quickly. It's not fully mixed. I haven't really, you know, done too much to it, and I might add some more sounds to it. But this is what we got so far by using the new Starlight 2 VST instrument. So let's go ahead and check it out.
All right, there it is, the Starlight 2 VST instrument. Not bad, not bad. What do you guys think about it? Is this something that you guys are gonna go ahead and pick up? If so, go ahead and click the link in the description so you guys can go ahead and get it. And I uh, hope this video was informative. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I always say, peace out.